What do your actions say you're asking for? A lot of people, your actions say one thing. Your words say something else. Your words say, I want to go to college. Your actions say, I don't want to finish. Your words say, I want to be married. Your actions say, I want to be divorced. Your words say, I love my parents. Your action says, I'm selfish and don't care about them. I only care about me. You don't care about the finances of the family. You don't care about what's affordable, what's not affordable. You don't care. Go to the college you want, get what you want. You you know, you want what you want. They take you out to look for a car. If it's not the car you want, you moan and groan as if you're going to pay for me. Please pause for a minute and ask yourself, do my actions say I'm thankful? Let me tell you you what's amazing. When your parents die, like my mother died, right? Here's what you find yourself thinking. What did my actions say to her all of our lives together? Did it say I was thankful or did it say I was selfish? When you go out and you don't call and you stay out later than you promised and you don't call in and you you tell them you're going to be back at 12 or 1 and you don't get back to 2 or 3 and then you come home with an attitude because they asked you where you were and they tell you, please don't do that again and you just, your actions say, I don't care about you. That's what your actions say. Your actions are asking for them to put you out of their lives so they can have peace. That's what your actions are saying. But your words say, no, I love you. But your actions say something else. What do your actions say you're asking for? Jail? Is that what your actions are saying? Going to the store stealing? Is that what your actions are saying? And you're going to cry when they catch you? And you're going to pray and ask for God to deliver you? What do your actions say? Your actions are not saying, bless be God. That is what I think about. See, I want, my, I want to ask for things, and I don't want to be ambivalent. My big word for the day, you ready? Look at my definition, a word for the day. My word ambivalent. The word ambivalent means something that's powerful. It has a very powerful and dynamic meaning. Can you put the word up for me, please? My team, are you there? Simultaneously experiencing or expressing opposing or contradictory feelings, beliefs, or motivations. Simultaneously, I feel I want to do right, I want to do wrong. I love you, I don't love you. I care, I don't care. Are you ambivalent or are you clear? Are you a person who is absolutely confident in what you're asking? When you go to God without ambivalence and you're sure, You approach it differently. That's what he said I want you to do. Come to me and ask and watch me work.